Hi, my name is Dwayne Crawford, and I'm the Fiber Product Line Manager at Belden. In this video, we're going to talk about installing jacketed fiber into the Brilliance Universal Connector. So, I'm going to take my installation handle in one hand. What you're going to notice is there's a groove in the top of the installation handle. I want to lay my fiber into that groove. Now, I can move my fiber back and forward simply using my thumb on the groove. I'm going to take my other hand and I'm only going to guide the fiber loosely into the connector that we've already prepared into the handle. Now I can slide it forward using my thumb until the black mark, that pen mark we just put on, aligns with the back of the connector. If that pen mark's not aligned, if we're coming up a little bit short and you feel like you're bumping into something, simply pull the fiber out a couple millimeters, give it a 10-15 degree twist and try it to go back in again. Once the pen mark's aligned, I can feel the fiber hitting the stub inside. So now I simply slide my thumb forward on the handle and create a little bow in the fiber. Once I have a little bow in the fiber, I'm creating enough pressure inside. I can then take the stylus that's included in my install handle and I can close the activator tab by sliding it towards the rear of the connector. Now that it's closed, what I can do is I can let go of the fiber. If we're dealing with Sam Charlie SC type connectors, I may need to partially unclip the connector at this point because the inside of the connector floats separately from the body. I need to make sure that those two are moving separately from each other. Now that we've closed the activator tab, we're ready to put the boot on. What we need to do now is spread the yarn around the back of the connector. We want to make sure it's evenly spread around. Then we're going to take our boot, we're going to slide it up and we're going to screw it into place. What you're going to notice is all the yarn is going to disappear under the threads and we're going to give it a couple of clicks to secure it in place. We've now properly installed the boot. What I have to do now is check the VFL light. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn my VFL on. I'm going to make sure that the light is green and we can now look in the activator tab window to see if we have any light. If for a multi-mode connector that light should be completely out. For a single mode there may be a little bit of residual light and that is okay to move on. And that's how we install jacketed fiber into the Brilliance Universal Connector. Be sure to check out our other videos on installing fiber products 